Hey songwriters and welcome to episode number two in our 12 week series called GarageBand 101 where we're learning how to use GarageBand to aid and empower our songwriting process. Now today we're going to talk about one of the most exciting tools that GarageBand gives you for creative songwriting and that is MIDI instruments. So let's talk about what MIDI instruments are. By definition, MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, which means that MIDI instruments are not physical instruments that you play with your hands like a guitar, but rather MIDI instruments are digital instruments inside of your computer that you control therefore using either your typing keyboard or something called a MIDI controller. So now that we know what MIDI instruments are by definition, let's talk about why they are so exciting and powerful for creative songwriting. Bring the banner down and roll the film. Let me start this section with a question. Who has the money or space to buy a few pianos, several basses, a ton of drum kits, and then a ton of other pads and synths and different instruments? Do you? Then, even if money wasn't the issue, who has the skill to play all those instruments? Not me. This is why MIDI instruments are so powerful you get access to tons of amazing sounding instruments and you can control them with something as simple as your typing keyboard. This is really powerful from a songwriting perspective because now you can take your basic arrangement and fill it out to a full band production. And beyond that, it helps you to write more creatively diverse songs because now you get to write and record with tons of different instruments that normally you wouldn't have access to or you wouldn't have the ability to play. So I think you're starting to get the idea. MIDI instruments are really powerful and they're just really fun to play. I mean, when's the last time that you had a bass, a drum set, and a synthesizer right at your fingertips? It's just really cool. So let's talk for a second about the two main kinds of MIDI instruments. First is the kind that emulates real instruments. Let's take drums for example. What happens is some skilled engineers take a really nice drum set and record it in a really nice studio and then they translate those sounds into a digital format where you can then control them by using a MIDI controller. Which makes sense if we look back at the definition of MIDI instrument. Musical instrument, digital interface. They're taking a drum set and making it available and playable to us in a digital format. The second group of MIDI instruments are those that aren't trying to emulate a real instrument. They're just a bunch of cool, fun, or even crazy sounds like pads, synthesizers, and electronic drum kits. What's so exciting about this group of MIDI instruments is that these are the building blocks for writing pop and electronic music. So you now have the instruments at your fingertips that you need to go write an electronic song. <laughs> Well, enough ranting on how cool MIDI instruments are, hopefully you're convinced. So let's jump into our video tutorial for today explaining how to use MIDI instruments in your projects. When you open up a brand new project file or hit the Add Tracks button, you'll have the option to create a MIDI instrument track, or as GarageBand calls it, a software instrument track where you can play sounds from your Mac. When you click Create, it adds a MIDI track into your project and brings up your musical typing keyboard, which allows you to play the MIDI instrument you have selected using your typing keyboard. Now you can choose from an entire library's worth of sounds and instruments to play in your project, like a Steinway grand piano, or a cool thumping bass. You ever used a bass in your project? And maybe even more exciting, you get access to lots of awesome drum kits. Not only do you get access to a lot of acoustic drum sets, you also get access to a library of electronic drum kits, which are really cool. If you like writing electronic music, there's an endless library of synthesizers. There's also a nice selection of pads for creating those beautiful atmospheric sounds. Uh 
Honestly, this MIDI library is unbelievable for songwriters. When you're writing, you can begin to layer MIDI instruments one on top of the other to create fully produced arrangements. For example, I can start things off with an electric piano part, then add in some drums for rhythm. Then add some bass for the low end. And then fill things out with an atmospheric pad. As you can see, MIDI instruments are a really powerful tool for writing and filling out your songs. I'm getting inspired. It's time to write. Check one, two. Yeah, let's do it. I've been making a song And it sounds pretty cool I'll tell you why I use MIDI sounds To make this whole thing To make this whole thing To make this whole thing If you're a songwriter like me who is used to writing music with one instrument in my voice, you should be getting really excited right now. As the mini music video explained, I made the entire arrangement of this song using MIDI instruments that GarageBand offers. And I created and played those parts using my typing keyboard. That is so cool. Hey, pretty awesome, right? Well, in our last section, let's cover a few practicals on using MIDI instruments. First, you wanna make sure that you've downloaded all of the MIDI instruments that are available to you in GarageBand. You'll know that you haven't downloaded all of them if you see some of your instruments are grayed out. But this is a pretty simple fix. All you have to do is click on the download icon and wait a while. But eventually the download will finish and you can start playing a cool coffee shop percussive drum set in your MIDI track. But if you want to make it simple and download all of the available instruments at one time, simply go to your GarageBand drop-down menu, highlight Sound Library, and click Download Available Sounds. But just know that it could take a day or two or even more for things to fully kick in. I don't know why it takes so long, but just Get be patient. Get Hurry up! The other practical I want to share is how to actually hook up your MIDI controller and use it in GarageBand instead of your typing keyboard. And friends, there's really just not that much to this one. Simply plug a USB cable into the back of your MIDI controller and then plug the other end into your computer and voila! Without having to change any settings or download any drivers, you can now control MIDI instruments using your MIDI controller. So cool. Now I know some of you are asking, can I use my electric keyboard as a MIDI controller in GarageBand? And the answer is, usually. I can say that I've had students whose keyboards work and then a few that didn't work. It really just depends on the make and model of your keyboard, so you're just gonna have to try it out and see. Now if your keyboard doesn't work and you're starting to get all upset about it, mine just doesn't work. <laughs> Don't fear, here's a recommendation for a MIDI controller that's high quality and very affordable. And that is the M-Audio Keystation 49. I use it myself, I've recommended it to my closest friends, and you can get it brand new for about 99 bucks. If you need to get it cheaper, you can go onto eBay and potentially find it for less. And no, no one's paying me to say this. Now, as I'm talking about MIDI controllers, some of you are starting to ask the question, to get a MIDI controller or not to get a MIDI controller? So here's my quick thoughts. First, if you're a piano player who likes to compose two-handed piano pieces, then yeah, you're gonna need some kind of MIDI controller. But beyond that, it's really a matter of preference. Do you want more room to spread out? Do you like the feel of a piano key more than a typing key? That's your call. But I will say this. A MIDI controller is not gonna make your MIDI instrument sound any better or cooler because in the end, your typing keyboard and a MIDI controller are just that, they're controllers for a digital instrument that lives inside of your computer. 
So really the only thing that makes a MIDI controller unique from a typing keyboard is that it has more room. MIDI this, MIDI that, let's wrap this thing up. To keep up with weekly content from here at the Songwriting Studio, simply go to thesongwritingstudio.com and enter your email address. This is Dean signing out here in episode number two. I'm so glad you watched and I'll catch you next week.